is our clock break demonstration scheduled for you this afternoon. I'm going to get you started here with, oh, we're cutting out, with Tony from Unique Paving. First of all, thanks for inviting me here. I'm going to explain a little bit on cold match. It's something that everybody's seen it, everybody's done it, and in most cases, people wonder, and that's only a temporary solution. The key primarily is preparation. Keep a marginal, a marginal cold patch, if it's properly put down, will give you some survivability. And this is actually not a bad example. I was hoping for kind of more of a crater to kind of show you how we can actually make a crater survive. But the key, again, is the proper preparation. And the other thing is the real crew. The most important person is the guy who's got to shovel it in. The key is giving them a workable material, a material that's actually designed for pothole. And the other case is, what are you trying to achieve? If it's just a temporary fix, just use a temporary pothole patch. If you're looking for a long-term survivability, something that's durable material, and again, proper procedure, proper prep. And again, I'll start showing here. This is basically a, a normal, I think a lot of you folks can look at it, see it's a normal pothole. In many cases in my travels, I will see people just come out the side of the truck and they start filling a hole. And one of the key there is any material is only going to be able to hear to what's in the hole. So the key is getting the hole cleaned out. And again, first demonstrate this. This is actually a kind of an interesting, I call it the Harry Potter room. We have a gentleman in Chicago who sells about 250 of these during Halloween to these college fraternities. Again, most cases when you watch, you've got to clean the hole. And that's critical to have materials adhere to the hole. relatively easy. It's polypropylene bristle stiff. A lot of blowers sometimes you can blow fines against the wall and then there's a barrier when you're using a patch. So the key is you try to get as clean as the hole as possible. By cleaning the hole, getting all loose particles out of the hole, you just increased your chance of survivability by over 75%. Our material is designed to stay, it's designed to stick, but it's got to be in the hole. And it's not any loose material, it's going to stick to a loose material. Other thing I'm going to do now. Most cases when you're filling potholes, it's not 70 degrees and sunny. It's 2015, minus five, the hole's wet. I'm gonna show you a trick with one of our materials. Now you don't need water to make it work. There is a product out there you gotta put water in the hole. In many cases, this is what a pothole normally looks like to you in the field. and self leveling You can see how it kind of flows. And anybody who wants to take a look, look around, come on by. The key too is when you're using bags, we make bags and bulk. When you're using bags, look at the inside of this bag looks like. I'm going to show you. And that's very critical. You want to see a black bag. When you open the bag, you want to see that blackness. You want to see that once attacked. 
a good cold mix will adhere to plastic, steel, anything. And you want to see that blackness. If you open a bag, you don't see that blackness in the bag, the chances are that it's going to try to tap in a hole is going to be very slim. This mix, this is a winter mix. It's geared for minus 15 degrees up to about 50 degree workability. Then we make a mix from 50 to about 80, and then we make a summer mix 80 and above. The key of having a good material will change the viscosity, just like you do with oil in the winter. You've got to have a viscosity, you've got to have a material that the person has to handle it, it's got to be workable. Federal Highway study back in the late 80s. They actually came out with a blueprint on proper preparation. First thing they look at is pole preparation, also compaction. You know, the idea of a throw and goal doesn't work. You know, we've seen that time and time again. We see road cruisers just throw it in the hole, if they can get it in the hole, and they just move on. Or a lot of cases they'll just throw it in the hole and expect the car traffic to compact it. Our car does not have enough load of material, but you could you could actually drive on it with a a, a truck, hand tamper, vibratory tamper. But compaction is critical. And again, this is an average pothole. It took about 50 pounds, so that's about an average pothole. If this pothole was deeper than three inches, you basically want to put it in lifts because if you have anything deeper than three inches by volume, you throw a bag in material, it doesn't all settle. And as soon as it starts settling, the cars and the trucks will just kick up the material. stepping on it, I don't know, 220 pounds. And again, I'm not, it's, with the water, it's soft, but it's not delaminating. And again, what I'm gonna do now, since again, it's settled, I wanna do, because most cases, either people overfill potholes or underfill potholes. 
the key is basically you want a quarter inch in the center and once you compact it, it will level out. Because if it's underfilled, again, cars and trucks will go over it and kick it out. If it's overfilled, a lot of times the plows will tear it out. And in a lot of cases, a, a non-performing coal patch will pull, the whole, will pull the whole patch out of the hole. Questions on workability, finishability, survivability. For those that want, I've got samples of the coal mix for you, a few bags. I've also got samples of the cold crack filler and also a newer product that we actually introduced that we were going to present earlier. When you get alligator cracking like this pavement here, we've got a material that will actually waterproof all those little fine cracks. And you put it down like a sealer. But unlike a sealer that just sits on the surface, this material will actually go in and fill all those nooks and crannies and waterproof those material. So, but again, anybody would like, let me know. Samples are here, so thank you very much.